Hey everybody, it's Nate and Steph from Adventure in a Backpack. It's cold outside. <laughs> it is. So we're up in um, Bozeman, Montana, and we have stumbled across probably the coldest weather we've seen since we lived in Kremlin a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Right now it's about, I think it's like two degrees outside, and it's and supposed to get down. We're talking in Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, for yes, two degrees for Fahrenheit. Um, it's supposed to get down tonight to negative four Fahrenheit with a wind chill of negative 24 Fahrenheit. So mm -hmm. uh, we preheated the van. Uh, we yeah. we drove around a little bit because this isn't like we're not trying to make this be like a competition of like how cold can we make it? Like we we would rather it be like nice and toasty in here. We're not trying to like, you know, impress you guys with like how cold we can sleep and like be super tough or anything like no, that. I don't want to be tough. I want to be cozy. Yeah, exactly. And you know, it's like we, we made this van to be a nice, comfortable living space. And so it's insulated uh, for, you know, for those of you who haven't joined us, we insulated it with rigid foam insulation, which I can link to that video up here. Uh, we installed a eSpar D2 diesel heater. Uh, I can also link to that up there. Uh, what else have we done for heat? Um, oh, we're going to be able to use our electric blanket. Uh, electric blanket, we have enough solar power for that. Temperatures right now, like I said, we pre-warmed the van. We drove around a little bit and we got it up to 79 degrees, I think. The baseline for um, in the morning. Yeah, I think that's it. So let's call it a night and we will check back in in the morning or in the middle of the night if it gets really cold um, and see how it did. Good night. <laughs> Good morning. Did you stay warm? Yeah, actually I did. It wasn't too bad. No, I didn't put any. I just now put this uh, jacket and this beanie on as soon as I woke up, basically. Um, I didn't put any more clothes or anything like that. We didn't put on another blanket. But let's see how we actually did by the numbers. By the um, numbers. Let's see here. So according to the top thermostat, which is the East Bar thermostat, we are set at 65. Okay, so that would have been, so we dropped about 12. 14 degrees from the East Bar. Yeah, so 12 and 14 degrees um, for each, each one. So it's pretty good, honestly. Like I'm pretty happy with, with that. Um, I slept, I slept well. Like. It's a, oh, let's talk about what it is right now. Um, let's see. So I was just looking at it. Okay, so negative 32, um, had to update. So negative 30 is on the wind chill, uh, we're at negative six right now. And stayed pretty warm. I mean, honestly, I'm super glad that we did this because this is the coldest night that we've experienced. And I think it was a really good thing for us to know that if we encounter these kind of temperatures, uh, we're gonna be totally just fine. Like it's, you know, totally safe, all this kind of stuff, given the heater stays on, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Were you happy with it? Mm-hmm. Happy yeah, with I, it? <laughs> yeah, I'm so tired. <laughs> so anyway, I think it's time to get up and have coffee, what do you say? You make coffee. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna make coffee. So a few days have passed since that super cold night and I wanted to talk about a question that I knew we were going to get. And the question I anticipated getting was, you know, hey, that's great that 
negative 30 something wind chill it performed like it did uh, but i'm never going to be in that temperature how well did the heater do in more modest temperatures so the last few nights we've had temperatures ranging the lows in the to, to zero degrees fahrenheit uh, with no wind chill um, so basically just you know zero um, all the way to like i think the highest of the low temperatures we've seen is like 15. Uh, so let's talk about the coldest night uh, that wasn't just Arctic <laughs> outside. So zero degrees outside, no wind chill. Um, we did not preheat the van and the heater was able to keep the temperature in here at 70 degrees uh, all night long and it wasn't on high all night. I think it, uh, it kicked off a time or two uh, just because it was, it was able to keep up. We had the electric blanket on, uh, but ended up turning it off because the eSpar D2 heater was able to keep up. So I would say that's a good baseline of where the heater is comfortable. It was running on high quite a bit, but it was able to kick off a little bit. And so I think that's a good baseline. Zero degrees, no wind chill, um, was able to keep it 70 degrees in here. All that's in Fahrenheit. Uh, so overall, very, very, very happy with how the heater has performed these last few nights and are very confident throughout the rest of the winter and the winters to come. So I think that's all I had to say about that. If you have any other questions about how the heater performed, uh, be sure to drop them in the comments and I will answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to take you on more adventures. You want to travel with us in real life? Click this link up here. You want to subscribe to stay current on all of our van life and adventure travels? Click this link down here. And lastly, if you want to binge watch all of our videos, this link down here. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.